What's up guys, I'm Tom. Welcome back to my channel. Well, when I was cleaning that 65 Mustang, I was talking about some of these super clean products, namely this foaming one. And I was kind of curious if I had diluted it, if it still foams well. So I actually have four parts of water to one part of regular super clean in this bottle. I actually dumped out the cleaner that was in there in case it's different from super clean in some way. I figured we'll give it a try because I buy it by the two and a half gallon bottle and then dilute it down to everything I need. So and a dirty tire right here that needs cleaning. And uh, let's see if this stuff foams up. I'd say that's a yes. You'll see me switching hands here. Uh, this foaming sprayer definitely takes a lot more effort to pump than your normal spray bottle. So if your forearms aren't jacked like a detailer's normally is, your hands are gonna get tired pretty quick on this thing. One of the things I really like about Super Clean is you just see it turn brown almost instantly. I mean, before I even made it the full way around the tire, it was already starting to turn brown and kind of break down the grease and dirt that was on the tire. And, um, you know, with, with the trailer wheel, obviously there's no brake dust, so there's no reason to use a wheel cleaner. The Super Clean works perfectly fine. But even that grease that comes out of the hub bearing a little bit, it just breaks that stuff down, no problem. Well, I would call that a success. Um, if you guys buy super clean in bulk like I do and use it a lot, but you like the foam and cleaner, um, I would say you could buy your one bottle of foam and cleaner, pour the product out, dilute it the way you normally do, whether it's four to one or, you know what? I can't imagine that it wouldn't work 10 to one. I mean, it looked exactly the same at four to one as it did when it was full strength in the bottle. So get the sticky foam action with the same performance as the super clean. And I'd say that's a winner. So I've used this foaming spray bottle a few times since making this video. And I just wanted to add this little follow-up. Um, I found that after, I guess about the second fill of product, that it started giving me a little trouble with wanting to prime up. So the last job I used it on, I was having to pump the sprayer, you know, like 15 or 20 times before anything even started coming out of it. And even as I was going wheel to wheel, at the start of spraying every wheel, I had to pump it another 15 or 20 times, which was very tiring, even though I'm used to spraying spray bottles and I can pretty much pump most bottles all day. This thing was just really burning my forearms and just making them more tired than they should have been. So my initial, yeah, you should just get one of these and um, if you're just doing it on a homeowner level and you're using it once in a while, I think that would be great. But if you're doing this more on a hobbyist or a professional level, I would probably recommend going with something more like the IK Foam, which I did a video on. And um, it just is going to be less wear and tear on your body, which at the end of the day, when you're doing it a whole bunch... That's kind of what it comes down to. Is it a time saver or does it save effort? Hopefully it does both. Um, and I think the IK Foamer kind of fits that bill. And you can still use your Super Clean or whatever you want to use in it. That's the beautiful thing about the Foamer. So I just had this new little bit of information that I wanted to share with you guys at the end. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.